Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on how to add gauntlets uh, like this to the character as a part of uh, character's modular armor. So here you can see gauntlets are now applied to the character. Let me show you again in case you missed it. So right now the character's hands are free, no gauntlets applied. This chest contains a gauntlet. If I open it, you can see gauntlet is now added to the character. This one contains a weapon. So yeah, and also if you want to have uh, for the NPC characters also need to have gauntlets, you can do it like this. On the default weapons, you can add GA collect gauntlet. Now here, let me simulate so you can see. So here now you can see this guy is wearing gauntlets. And also, the base, uh, based on the type of gauntlet, the characters will have certain attributes applied to the characters. That means they will have additional defense uh, when the characters we are in deep uh, gauntlet so yeah those are the things we are going to work on today and yeah before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page uh, to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video project files are available for download and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all these episodes as well that where we implement all the things you see in this project from scratch so i leave the link to the full playlist in the description below there you can watch all previous episodes as well and yeah let's get back to today's tutorial So I have uh, exported this uh, gauntlet mesh which is rigged to the uh, UEFI mannequin uh, skeleton uh, as FBX and imported into my project here like this. If I show the bones you can see it has the same bone hierarchy as the mannequin so because of that I should be able to use it along with my character. Let me just show you. Here, if I measure slight mail, gauntlet, add it under the character. Is it transform and then go to construction script lead boss set leader boss component and set the mesh the main mesh as the leader and now you see in my character is we are in the gauntlets properly if I play the game you see here gauntlets are applied and animations are synced Okay, and even if I equip a weapon, it works properly. Okay, so it is compatible. Now, I want to implement this as a wearable component. That means just like other equipments that we have in my project. Yeah, let me show that as well. Sword, helmet, shield. Now if I go to inventory, here you can see all the swords I have and the shield I have and the helmet I have and the gauntlet will come here. For now it's not working. That's what we are going to work on now. Okay, so to do that, we already have implemented the uh, item equipment system 
here under items I have all the items that I have already created so we have plate armor chest armor so here we have this event init lead pose function implemented here and this is a child class of BP item base class and here you can see the tag assigned to this character this uh, actor all right so if I just duplicate let me go back there let me just duplicate this class BP Gauntlet let me C1 I'll consider as the class one of the gauntlet plate mail gauntlet and here uh, I'll change this gauntlet we already have this function implemented so we don't need to worry about that and change the gauntlet to plate mail gauntlet you wouldn't see that change right away but if I close and open it and go here now you see it's changed okay and now let's change this uh, uh, let's add a different tag or oh, weapon class so that doesn't really apply to this so under items Let's add a sub tag items gauntlet plate mail. Oh, it should be plate C1. Add new tag like this. okay and the item type so here we don't have a gauntlet so let's go to blueprint enums e items add new type gauntlet so go back here now select gauntlet okay now that's actually I think that's all we have to do in here now the next thing is let's go to abilities folder here I'll create a new folder gauntlet now just like for other stuff we need a collect ability and uh, collect gameplay effect for the gauntlet so the ability will take care of adding the adding this component into the character and the effect will define what are the attributes applied to the character after equipping uh, after this uh, item is applied to the character so let me select this collect just armor and collect just uh, this ability and the effect let me copy this to my gauntlet copy here and let's rename it collect gauntlet Red mail C1 G E collect gauntlet plate mail C1. Okay, now we have the ability and the effect. Now let me open the ability and Q. This is only relevant for playing the sound and the 
particle effect so I'll just leave this queue that's okay but collectible class is should be this gauntlet and activation block tag now if the character already has a gauntlet then we should block it so items gauntlet it should be a activation block tag and the gameplay effect should be this one okay all right now let's go to this gameplay effect and check what do we have oh the added tag should be not this this one so if the character is where we are in this gauntlet this tag should be added to the character and also let's add some defense maybe not 10 let's say 5 okay and now we are not yet done so here for this chest i'll give this ga collect gauntlet let's see what happens now see the gauntlet is there but it is not synced properly and what we need to do for that is if i go to the event graph of the character here we should have or oh, it's in the base character in this collect items it's here if it is a gauntlet right now here gauntlet is here but we need to don't need to define a attached socket but Oh, right here uh, now actually we need a variable to hold a reference to the gauntlet so let me duplicate this the existing variable gauntlet yes okay sorry I closed set gauntlet and assign the value and then we need to initialize lead pose for the gauntlet as well because We need to synchronize animations and we can give the lead mesh the character mesh and also let's go to the on rep function of this why am i not getting a oh yeah let's change this to rep notify and on rep now in the on rep just like this just armor we again need to initialize lead pause so let me copy this this is to properly synchronize animations on uh, other game instances that means other clients all other clients so this will work on a multiplayer game Now I think that's all. Let's see. Yeah, see. Now get the characters we are in gauntlets. Let me grab a weapon. Oh helmet, weapon, okay. Oh right. so now the gauntlets are working all right so the next step would be how to make these gauntlets appear here but i don't want to cover 
to that part in this episode let's look into that in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe let me know if you have any questions in the comments below goodbye